Hey boys and girls, if you remember the video from last time, it was a little bit tricky for me to say. Not because the words were hard, but when you put the words together, it kind of twists your tongue a little bit. Well, the book I have today is also by Dr. Seuss, but there's a warning at the bottom of it and I will read it to you. It says, Fox in Socks. That is the title of this book, but down here, I will read the words. It says, this is a book you read aloud to find out just how smart your tongue is. The first time you read it, don't go fast. This fox is a tricky fox. He'll try to get your tongue in trouble. So we'll see how this goes, boys and girls. I am not the best at reading these tongue twisters. Fingers crossed. I hope I can get through it. Fox socks. Fox knocks. Knocks in box. Fox in socks. Knocks on fox. In socks. In box. Whew. Socks on Knox and Knox in box. Fox in socks on box on Knox. Okay, so far so good. Chicks with bricks come. Chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. <sighs> and here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and, and blocks. Bricks and blocks on Knox on box. Now we come to trick. Ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on Knox talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks talk. Please, sir. I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and talks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. See, he's having a hard time saying it too. It's not just me. Here is an easy game to play. Here is an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Whose socks? Sue's socks. Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue's socks. Who sees who sew whose new socks, sir? <laughs> you see Sue, Sue sew Sue's new socks, sir? Ah! <laughs> That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews Crow's clothes? Sue sews Crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. We'll find something new to do now. Here's lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey, gooey. Blue goo, new goo, gluey, gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's not what goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, choose to chew, sir. With the goo goose, chew, sir, do, sir. <sighs> Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Well, sir, step this way. We'll find another game to play. Oh, boy. Bim comes, Ben comes. Bim brings Ben's broom. Ben brings Bim broom. <laughs> ben, Ben's, Bim's broom. Ben, Ben's, Ben's broom. Ben, Ben's, Ben's broom. Ben, Ben's, <laughs> I can't do it. Boys and girls, we have a dilemma. I have tried to read this page six times. I've had to stop recording six times and delete the video six times because, because I keep making a mistake. I'm going to try one more time. Fingers crossed. I hope this works. <sighs> ben Ben's Bim's Broom. Bim Ben's Ben's Broom. Bim's Ben's Ben's Ben's. Ben's Bent Broom Breaks. Bim's Bent Broom Breaks. <gasps> I did it. Okay, next page. 
<sighs> Ben's band, Bim's band, big bands, pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms, Ben's band bangs, and Bim's band booms. Oh my goodness. Boys and girls, I quit. I will not be able to finish this book. There's no way. So what I'm going to do is summarize the rest of the book for you. So this page, this guy goes, hey man, I can't say all this stuff. And he goes, oh, all right, I'll try to make it easier for you. But he doesn't because this is crazy. Luke Luck Licks Lakes Lake Duck Lakes Luke Licks Lake. I can't even. So here's another page of tongue twisters. And then he's like, hey man, my tongue is not made of rubber. I can't do this. And he goes, okay, well. Let me try something easier for you. But it's not easier because all of these words rhyme and they all start with the same sounds. So it goes back and forth over and over. I can't do it. Okay, I'll try to make easier words for you. These are not easier. Over and over, it keeps happening. So many tongue twisters, over and over and over. All right, there are two pages left in this book. I'm going to do my best to read at least the last two pages for you. Here we go. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles, with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottled Paddled Muddled Duddled Fuddled Wuddled Fox and Socks, sir. <gasps> I did it. Fox and Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. And that is the end. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about it. I learned to read a long time ago. I've been reading for a while now, and this book was incredibly difficult to read. I couldn't even finish it. And at the end, it's funny. It says, now is your tongue numb? For sure, that was pretty hard. If you want to get a laugh out of your parents, this would be pretty fun for them to try to read. I wonder if they can do it. This was hard for me. Now that my brain is mush, let's talk about this Dr. Seuss book and what it has to do with the other Dr. Seuss books. So let's talk about a setting. Where did this book happen? I think, like the other ones, it kind of took place everywhere, really. Things were happening in the house. Things were happening outside. Things were happening in water, by a lake. So this book kind of took place all over. Who were the characters in this story? Well, I think you remember these two. I would call them the main characters, Mr. Knox and his friend. But there were also other characters in this book. And just like Dr. Seuss, some pretty made up things like these little things here. Those kind of remind me of birds, but that doesn't really look like a bird beak to me. And the wings kind of look like hands. So it's kind of like he mixes up different body parts and animals. And we knew that. Once again, his illustrations leave a lot of white space in the background. Um, he uses plain colors, but adds black lines to them to help make the creatures look fuzzy or to just add texture. Why do you think Dr. Seuss made this book? To drive your teacher crazy? Yeah, no, but he made this book probably to be kind of silly, don't you think? That was quite an entertaining read. I think he also made this book to be a little bit tricky. He knew what he was doing. He put a warning on the front saying, this is gonna be a tongue twister. So it's kind of fun. So it's a bummer I couldn't finish the book. I think this will be the only time that you know me that I will never finish a book. This was pretty much impossible for my mouth to say. I wonder if you have this book at home. I wonder if your grownups could read it because this was hard for me. So you should try to see if they could do it. It's really hard. The next book I read by Dr. Seuss will not be as difficult to read. All right, boys and girls, thank you for sticking with me. And to end this video, here are some of the outtakes of me trying to read this book. Enjoy. That's what that, ah! <laughs> Close, slow, just cr Joe, cry. Ah! Chick, six, oh my goodness. Six bricks, tick, six, six, chick, chicks, tuck, <laughs> Sick chicks, tuck, oh, no. <laughs> ah, nose hoes go some, crows grow so, so, <laughs> ah, broom, bims, bends, bends, bad, 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 bad,
Axel's house. Gluey, <laughs> gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goo says. <laughs> gooey goo for gooey. Jeez, oh, oh, Pete's. Sir, you, sir, choose to choose, sir. Ah! Ah!